Hey everyone, Will here. Beautiful fall afternoon. I'm going to do a little project. Here's my uh, neighbor's windmill. Moving along pretty good. And uh, like I said, we have a little project to do. I have my helper. Oh, hey Beatrix. You want to say hello? And uh, picked up a cast iron pan this past week. Very hard to read the writing on it. Uh, I believe it says uh, Waypack, Wapack. Uh, nice old pan from the early 1900s. Uh, needs to be cleaned up though. Uh, get that uh, grease and uh, creosote build up uh, off the cast iron. Uh, what's worked good for me is a fire. Just leave it in a fire and uh, basically burn it off. When it comes out, you just uh, take an SOS pad and clean it up. So out here in my fire pit, and I realize this isn't for everybody. Not everybody has a fire pit. And uh, if you notice, it just rained last night, so there is a lot of leaves around, but they're all still wet. And I cleared around the uh, fire pit. Um, and I'll be out here while it burns, so... Uh, wouldn't want to leave this be. Get some uh, stuff to catch fire here. And uh, see if I can do this. Shredded paper works great um, for starting fires. Let that burn, we'll throw some wood on there and uh, come back after it's cooled off. So that'll be the next part of the video. So here's the fire going. Got the pan on the bottom. Uh, another advantage of doing this is uh, I get to clean up all the yard waste uh, laying around my yard from all the trees. So uh, we'll let that burn down, throw a few more pieces on there, and uh, let it cool and uh, see how it turns out. So it's been a couple days since I had a fire. Everything's all nice and cooled down. And here's the pan. chain in there. Ah, here's the pan and it looks it's looking pretty good for coming out of a fire. We'll get that cleaned up with the SOS pad and see how it turns out. Well here it is all cleaned up after uh, getting a nice uh, scrub down with the SOS pad. You can clearly see the markings now. Much easier to sell this one and uh, use this one now that it's all cleaned up. Uh, it does need to be uh, oiled up so that it doesn't rust and uh, it'll present a lot better. Uh, good thing to keep in mind is that somebody's going to be using this pan so uh, what you don't want to use is like spray it down with WD-40 or some kind of chemical like that. Uh, I like to uh, heat it up in the oven, get it nice and warm, uh, put some uh, olive oil in there and uh, wipe it down, that'd be good to go, ready for another 100 years of use.